Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to the brand new side series of Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition Stairway to the Destined Duel. But oh, it is so much more than that. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition Stairway to the Destined Duel, but let's give her the Worldwide Edition. Let's just call it Rivals Edition. This is a series that I'm going to be doing with my friends. Yes, you heard me right. This will be a single player let's play, yada yada. Oh, we get to pick our 40 card deck. Well, green is always my favorite color, so I'm gonna go with green. So I picked the green starter deck, I wonder what my friends picked. But yes, this is Rivals Edition, for those of you that don't know what Rivals Edition is. I will be dueling my friends this series. We will all be playing this game at the same time, simultaneously. Uh, them at their houses, me here with you people. All of you watchers, enjoying this series, hopefully. And, uh, yeah. So, I hope this goes well, so let's set on with the tournament and may the best duelist win. Let's do it. This is Worldwide Edition, everybody. You go around the city and you find duelists. The stars of the duelists, the random people are just people. They are not duelists. So, let's find out who our first opponent is going to be and hope our deck is ready for them. But yes, I'm going to be dueling people, trying to improve my deck, and then I'm going to duel one of my rivals, one of my friends who are also playing this game and also has been making a deck. Our first opponent is going to be Mako Tsunami. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to select the paper. Damn it. I'm going to select the scissors. Damn it. I'm going to select the rock. Day. Yeah. Okay. I thought I would lose that, but I totally got it. So Stairway to the Destined Duel is going to remind you to uh, a lot of uh, the Eternal Duelist Soul, but it's going to be different, guys. It's got more cards. It's got... Uh, a better story-ish. It's not the biggest story, but it's got a story, halfway story kind of kind of thing. That's why this is a side series. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be a great time. So we have Dark Magician Girl, we have Change of Heart, we have Penguin Soldier. This is all just great, great, great. Uh, not really at the moment though, because now I'm going to have to waste a card. Uh, we'll see. Let's see what our opponent tries to do to us first. Ooh, Giant Red Sea Snake. That's a good one. That's a good monster. I'm going to have to trap hole that. Yeah, 1800 attack. No, thank you. Now I'm going to draw Premature Burial. That's a good card. And you know what? Screw Penguin Soldier's effect. Let's just go for damage with my Dark Magician Girl. I'm really happy we get to start the game with this card. Son of a bitch. I'm really happy we get to start the game with this card. I was prepared. I don't think I would have summoned her if uh, I had known. Uh, I mean, if I didn't have this Premature Burial. But look who's back, everybody. It's the Dark Magician Girl. We get started with really good cards. We got Magic Jammer, Change of Heart, Dark Magician Girl. I mean, this is all great. Yami Field Spell is just kind of nice, you know? Okay, that background's a little whatever, but it works. 2200 attack points, go! So yeah, this series, guys, I'm going to be building up my deck. I'm going to be doing tournaments against uh, the AI. And uh, I'm also going to be having rival battles. Which, if you watch my Pokemon, shit, he has Umi. Which, if you watch my Pokemon series, you would know that the rival battles were the one of the most popular things about them. But in this case, it's rival duels, but same concept. You all get it. Yeah, I'm going to stop his... Son of a bitch, he had two Umis. I wasted my change of heart. Alright, well that sucks. Oh, and I drew Mystical Space Typhoon. Isn't This is all just nasty. I lost my Yami. He didn't use Umi on the first turns, and he had two Umi, so that means he had Umi. It just sucks. He wasted my cards. Let's hope he doesn't defeat me for that. Flying fish? <laughs> I think that card's like four stars for some reason. It's so weird. Well, I am really excited. So I'm going to do my best this episode to build up my deck. And then I'm going to release another episode of a duel I have with one of my rivals. Who I wonder who I'm going to duel first. I honestly don't know yet. Um, but eventually we'll all talk because I have quite a... Not, not a large group of friends playing this with me, but a good amount. A good amount. So we'll see uh, if uh, I am not drawing any monsters. We'll see if uh, the duels go well. We'll probably all have similar decks in the beginning since, you know, you don't really get that many different cards. Yes, there's three starter decks, but they usually have a lot of the same cards in them. Um, it's, I, we have a fusion deck, so that means we already start with Polymerization. And since I have Gazelle here, I'm guessing, yep, it's Chimera, the Mythical Beast. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and enter our battle phase. Hope he doesn't have Aquamador or worse. Let's see. Worse! I knew it! I knew it! I freaking knew it! There was nothing I could do about that. Well, at least my pr at least he can't kill me with Mystical Space Typhoon anymore. But now I don't have a powerful monster. And he has a third giant red sea snake! He drew all three of them! 
This early. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna use Karibo. This sucks. Gosh darn it. Giant rat to save the day. Thank God. I hope I have more than one giant rat or else this strategy isn't gonna work. Oh, never mind. I only need one. Oh, this is perfect. So I even get to start the game with giant rat. That is awesome. I am really happy about that. Alright, who can, who's in my deck? I have Giant Soldier of Stone, Celtic Guardian. I do have another Giant Rat, at least one other one. Uh, let's go ahead and get Silver Fang out here since I'm going to tribute it no matter what. Alright, so I got my Silver Fang and I got D-Spell. Alright, I seem to have a lot of tactical cards in this deck. Not really a monster heavy deck, but a lot of tactical stuff. It's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and use my Dark Magician Girl aggressively. We're going to take out Mako Tsunami's third giant red sea snake, which I hope that where he's done with them, they better not come back after that. Because those cards are really good. If I didn't have Dark Magician Girl, we'd be done. Uh-oh. Yeah, of course! <laughs> the second I say if we didn't have Dark Magician Girl, that's the... Oh, boss monster, Magician of Black Chaos. So we do have that at least. All right, no face downs. It could be a powerful card, but he why would he set it? Unless it's a flip effect monster. Let's find out. It's an effect. Yep, penguin soldier. So he gets two penguin soldiers. Your mom lets you have two penguin soldiers? Man, Mako, you need... Yeah, your mom's dead, isn't she? Never mind. I feel bad. Son of a... He also has seven colored fish? What am I supposed to do? Holy crap, this game... They couldn't give me an easier first opponent. Giant Trunade's useless. Gazelle's gonna die. D-Spell's useless. Alright, well, this sucks. Flying Fish. That's something I could have killed. So, let me get this straight. He's got three Giant Red Sea Snakes, a seven color fish, and then for some reason a little Flying Fish that's useless. I guess not useless, but not good. I also have Buster Blader. Holy crap. Oh, I have Buster Blader, but I don't have Dark Paladin. That sucks. I think I lost this first duel. This is going to be a really rough series if I lost the first duel. Granted, they gave me a pretty tough opponent to start with, so it's not like, uh... It's not like it's all that surprising, but I need to draw one of my giant soldier of stones. That's the only way I'm going to be saved. Oh, there's a useless card. Okay, that's GG, guys. The least I could do is figure out what kind of cards he's hiding. In case I have to duel him again. Okay, Torrental Tribute. If I could summon anything right now, maybe I could get him to kill himself, but I can't. So, our first duel is a loss. That is really bad, because I need to get some cards. And I don't think you can get cards from losses, which means I have no way improving, of improving my deck for my opponents. Or my actual human opponents at the, you know, in the other battles. That's not good. I am the winner, and you've learned what it takes to face the vast power of the sea. Okay, what kind of strength it takes, I don't care. So Mako is now on our marker, so we don't have to duel him again by accident. Uh, there is someone else here, though, so let's check them out. Maybe they won't be as hard. Who is it? My oh, no! She's gonna be way harder! No! My, please, don't! No! <laughs> She's even making me go second! Alright, let's see if we get a better hand this time. Giant Rat's always a good start, but it's better if I go first with Giant Rat, not second. And she started with Oh, and she started with Harpy. Okay. 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 What is this game? What is this game where this is allowed? Who's the evil person that made it? Granted, I have two change of hearts and stuff for two cards that can steal cards, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to activate Snatch Steal on one of the Harpy Lady Sisters. I'm going to activate Change of Heart on the other one. And no, not the Harpy Lay Sister, but the Cyber Harpy. I'm going to activate Fisher on that. I, I started with a really good hand, I'm not going to lie. Like, I was I was complaining because she started with an amazing hand, but this hand I have is going to turn it right around, so it's fine. 1950. Man, I got some really good spells and traps. Snatch Tool is broken. Change of Heart is broken. My friends are going to be broken. If I have this deck, then they're going to be insane. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is going to be a terrible series. I love it. Oh, man, I love it. Now, hopefully you guys see what the main Yu-Gi-Oh! series is. That, that one's going to blow your minds. You're going to love that. 
Skulver, that's not good. Alright, so she's gonna destroy both my giant rats, which is fine. I have Gazelle now, so I can get Gazelle out here afterwards. Since he's got 1500 attack and a fusion uh, possibility, but not really like I'm going for that. Her giant skull redbird's gonna be a problem, though, because that thing's stronger than all my monsters. Including my gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. Oh, he's mythical, alright. And a trap card to scare me. I am per um, I am actually scared. Luckily, I have D, D spell, so I can at least see what it is. Alright, what are you hiding? I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, anything in the graveyard? Giant rat, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and set Beaver Warrior. We're going to attack with Harpy Lady Sisters. Boop. Alright. At least she's out of Harpies. She used two Elegant Egotists, so I'm guessing she only has one more of those. Everything's going okay, guys. We should be fine. We need this, this is fine. Probably. Alright. And that better have been Faith Bird. It was! So now Skull Red Bird's got a... Why would you go for the defense mode monster and not the monster that could actually damage you? You're a weird person, my Valentine. Weird person. But I respect the weird, so it's cool. We go ahead and go with that. We're gonna enter our battle phase. And we're gonna get rid of that Skull Red Bird that can actually kill my monsters. Faith Bird, you could stay. Both of these cards can actually fuse into cooler monsters, but she doesn't have refusions in this game, which is really lame. I like it when she has, uh, what's it called? Skullbird and, uh, Crimson Sunbird. You know, the, the bird cards. They're cool. And now her monsters are going back to her hand. Penguin Soldier's gonna save the day. Hell, maybe she is easier than Mako Tsunami. It's just, no, honestly, uh, if it was her versus Mako, his two Penguin Soldiers versus uh, her Harpy Lady Sisters, he would've won. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and activate Premature Burial. I'm going to use this to bring back, it does not matter, Giant Rat. I want to keep the Harpy Lady Sisters, so I'm not going to tribute them. Even if I am giving her a thousand life points every turn. I'm going to tribute that to summon the Summon Skull. Starting with Summon Skull is pretty cool. So it's like I got a Yugi deck to start with. Mixed with a little Joey, because we got Penguin Soldier and that comes from his starter deck. But it's definitely a Yugi deck. 2500 and it's over we got our first win everybody now I have played this game before so I know which packs I want to get from no I really jacked up the power of my deck losing makes it all meaningless all right so in this game other than uh, unlike in turtle du uh, duel of soul whatever we start with a lot more packs I always recommend the launcher spider pack or the gate guardian looking pack blockbuster soldier if you want rituals dark magician if you want dark magician Red Eyes if you want Red Eyes, which I do, but Gig Guardian and Launcher Spider have some of the best cards. Like Karibo. No, I, I got a bad. Well, that's really Gold with an Appetite's pretty good this early in the game, so that's fine. I might add that to the deck after the at the end of the series. Hey! There's five free cards in every issue. You better believe we're going to read this crap. All right, let's see. Great Mammoth, a gold fight. Copycat! Oh, shit, you're going down, rival. I don't know who I'm fighting, but I got Copycat. That's a damn good rare. And you don't even get a rare at all the packs. Uh, Great Man with a Gold Fight could be useful, too, if I get the fusion materials for it. So we know where Mai is now. Let's get another duelist going. Who else do we have in this city? It's Joey Wheeler. I don't know you. My name is Joey Wheeler. It's a pleasure to meet a pushover like you. 11 turns. That's all it'll take to defeat you. Alright, he thinks he can beat me in 11 turns? Hell no. I know Joey is a man. He's a hard duel, a hard fought duelist with a lot of luck on his side. But I'm gonna beat him. If I can beat Maya, I can beat Joey. Probably. I got a negate attack trap card. That's a decent one. I got my giant rat to stall. I got Guy the Fierce Knight. That's kind of cool. If I have Curse of Dragon, I need to get Guy the Dragon Champion. Well, hello there, swords. So Joey's got some good... What the? First turn Black Skull Dragon? What? No. No. I know I have to let him destroy my giant rat so I can search my deck a little. God damn it. First turn. Literally first turn Black Skull Dragon. What the hell? I need my Snatch Steel or something. 
So I got... Oh, Dark Hole. Perfect. That'll do. That'll do. Um, I need to stall for a turn. I don't want a Dark Hole when I have a defensive field advantage. Now I don't. Goblin Attack Force. Holy crap, Joey. This is one of your better decks, isn't it? Alright, well, if I summon something with Giant Rat, yes, I get to search my deck. Good point. I will at least get to search my deck, which will thin out my deck, making it easier to get the spells I need. I'm gonna summon the Giant Soldier of Stone. This asshole re literally first turn Black Skull Dragons me. My favorite card in the game, Black Skull Dragon. Yes, I love Dream Clown. Yes, I love freaking Flame Swordsman and all them. But Black Skull Dragon is the true MVP of my heart. Okay? Don't let anyone don't let it don't let anyone confuse you. That's my favorite. All right, I can wait for one more card. I'm going to put you in defense mode. I'm going to summon Do I have a weak monster? I do not. At best I can Beaver Warrior just to stall. Cuz I need to wait till Swords is gone before I think about Dark Holen. Good. Panther Warrior. Whoa. All right, well, at least uh, he'll eat one of his own monsters. Maybe he'll be dumb and eat his Black Skull Dragon. That would be good. Oh, he is going to eat probably Goblin Attack Force, yep. Silver Fang. All right, Swords is still not gone, but I'm at a point where I'll take a lot of damage. And we are kind of screwed. Crap. I activate the Dark Hole. Okay, so he has a lot of beef monsters that are really strong. And I do not. I wish I would have saved my beaver soldier. I didn't realize swords would last that long, but it did. What am I supposed to do? What do you want me to do, Joey? Even my dark magician can't stand up to you, so what am I supposed to do? I have to hope I, that thinning out my deck was the right idea and I get a good spell. Pot of Greed! We started with Pot of Greed. That's a damn good spell. D-Spell and Dark Magic Ritual. Even my dark, even my strongest card, Magician of Black Chaos, means nothing in the face of the boss monster, Black Skull Dragon. Magic Arm Shield, that's annoying, but it's not going to win him the duel. If I remember, it's there. Rock Orker. Oh, now he gets his weak monster. There it is. First Goblin Attack Force with the Black Skull Dragon with the freaking Panther Warrior, and now I get to see a weak monster. It only took a year. Karibo, you'll save me a little bit. We're literally just going to have to sit here and hope we don't die next turn. Baby Dragon. There we go. That's a weak monster that Joey is famous for. Nope, not that one. Not that one. That's the one. I lost the dude. No, I didn't. Karibo. All right. Top deck of the gods, everybody. No! I drew all my freaking high-level monsters! I need to throw- I need to fix this deck. This starter deck they gave you is not good enough for some of the opponents you run into. Alright. Oh, he's gonna slowly beat me with each monster? Come on. Joey, don't be that guy. At least I got to see my favorite card, Black Skull Dragon. That's- that's something. That's something. But, this sucks. Alright, Joey, show me your cool background with red eyes. There it is. All right, another loss. Not great, but you know what? Maybe we're, we're getting all the tough opponents out of the way. Let's go find a weaker opponent. There we go. I've reinforced my deck with Yugi's help. Oh, by the way, I'm Anzu Shinzaki. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you too, Taya. I'm glad they gave you your Japanese name, but, you know, nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. I forgot. This game was not, uh... It's localized, but it's not really localized. Like, it's not even censored. Like, the Harpy Lady cards don't have the censorship and stuff. Pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna set Negate Attack. I'm going to set Karibo. And then next turn, I'm gonna summon Dark Magician and destroy Taya. She has Fusion Monster, so that's interesting. I don't know what the hell this Time Lord... Necromancer Time Lord card is. It's weird. Normally, I wouldn't waste a gate attack on him, but I'm planning on summoning Dark Magicians, so... Yeah. Pot of Greed! That's a card! Meaver Warrior, Giant Soldier of Stone. It's all great, but it's not great enough. Change of Heart. Gimme her Necromancer. Or Lancer, whatever. I'm gonna summon one of my boss monsters, the Dark Magician. 
Beautiful. There he is, yeah. It's the green Dark Magician. I picked the green starter deck, so I got the green Dark... No, that's not how it works, but that would be pretty cool. Alright, so... Taya, you've been practicing with Yugi. What are you... Oh, that was a terrible move, but... Okay. I would have waited until you destroyed one of my better cards and then would have played that the way you played that. Oh, I have Yami. I should have used it. Did not realize I had Yami. You know, a lot of her monsters are probably fairy, so... It's probably gonna buff her. I mean, it's gonna weaken her. And then buff some of her other monsters. We're gonna let Giant Soldier Stone deal with this little guy. Yep, it buffed him. That's a spellcaster. She's got them spellcasters too, but I know she has fairies in there, so... We'll be able to destroy him. Oh, well, that's be- Oh, that might be one of her fusion monsters. Could become Warrior of Tradition, if I remember correctly. Well, hello there, card that's buffed. How dare you kill my giant soldier of stone. I need to draw one of my buff monsters. What are my buff monsters? Mystical Elf. Nope, that's not one of them. Beaver Warrior, that's a buff monster. Look at him, 1,200 attack points. Knows no fear. Let's go ahead. So she loves the Yami field. I, I made a mistake. She is only... I've only seen uh, monsters that either have no effect or get positively affected by Yami. So this ain't, this ain't great. Celtic Guardian. Mystical Elf. Okay, this is one of my buffs. Uh, so, wait... Mako gets Giant Red Sea Snake, Joey gets Goblin Attack Force Panther Warrior, and what do I get? I got Celtic Guardian, which is cool, but it's like, where's my powerful monsters? Oh, Lady of Sand on the Flames, I'm about to take some damage. Ow. You got some interesting cards there, Taya. A lot of female monsters, I'm noticing. But you're running out of life points, so I hope you have a plan up your sleeve, and it better not be something dumb like Snatch Steel. That will upset me. Made of Moonlight. Goodbye, my Celtic Guard. No, goodbye, my Beaver Warrior. So Teo managed to do some damage to me, but the duel is over. Honestly, I can just attack with Dark Magician and win it right now. She didn't use a single spell or trap card, I just realized. I need to fight Teo more. She's the weak one. I can grind off her and get better at the game. And then I can go fight the tough ones that I faced in the first step, well, that I faced right now, like... Mako and, uh, freaking Joey and Mai. But I defeated Mai, at least. Alright, I told you to handle me with care. If that's the way you want to play, I'm gonna learn some combos to teach you a lesson. Eh, yeah, maybe. We'll see if you can teach me anything. Alright, let's try the Great Guardian pack this time. Mass Sorcerer, Jinzo number 7 I like. Killer Needle, Hibikimi, maybe. Mass Sorcerer actually is pretty useful. Especially since my deck has Yami in it. Alright, let's do one more duel, and then uh, I'm going to go get ready to duel my uh, actual opponent. My human opponent. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Rex Raptor, that's my name. I hope you're a good loser, because I'm about... Yeah, I love Rex. This is going to be fun. I get to duel my friend Rex here. Alright, Rex, let's see if your dinos can handle me. Oh, he's got his fusion dinos. I'm excited now. Maybe he can summon Brachioradius or Practical. I started with some of the best spells and trap cards in the game, so this is over. Crawling Dragon number two, that's one of his uh, classic monsters. Used to fuse into his Brachioratus, his strongest dinosaur card. Sadly, that is his strongest dino. Alright, Buster Blader, I would love to use him. Honestly, why not? Yeah, even though I could just summon Summon Skull, I want to summon the Buster Blader. So, give me your Crawling Dragon. I'm gonna go ahead and just dupe. Give me that. Even though it says its name is Crawling Dragon, it's not actually a dragon, so I'm not gonna be able to use it the way I want to. Then I'm going to go ahead and enter battle. And we're going to attack for 2600 damage. Pretty cool monster, Buster Blader. I don't know if I want it in my deck currently. Maybe in a new deck I make later on, but right now, not to... Ah, damn it! I think I... Oh, wow, you have Legin? Why even use Dinos if you have freaking Legin? Why does Rex Raptor get Legin? I want Legin. Give me Legin. No, I get Beaver Warrior, because screw me, right? 
All right, give me back my Buster Blade. You can't just kill him like that. That's very rude of you, video game. Let's go ahead and summon the Buster Blader. And then we're going to... Fisher the Legend. I know I'm using all my best cards early, but I want to do as much damage now. I should have saved that Fisher. I know. I agree. Should have saved that Fisher, but he already used Raigeki, so let's just try to kill him off. Look at that. I'm leaving him with 1,200 life points. How's Rex going to turn it around at 1,200? He's not. He's going to give up right now. Watch as the AI surrenders. Watch. Oh, Destroyer Golem. It may not be a dino, but at least it's a rock monster, so it also gets buffed from Wasteland. So at least it makes sense to be in a Rex Raptor deck. Alright, I got nothing left, so let's just go ahead and do some damage. Sadly, he's going to survive this turn because I didn't have a monster. Oh, he better not turn this around. He better not turn this around. I will be so upset. Okay, it's just a simple set monster. Now, could it be a flip effect? Yes, and that's why we're going to Dark Hole. It was not, so we would have won the duel either way. I'm going to win the duel with the good old classic Celtic Guardian. Celtic Guardian, go to town on the opponent. And that is it, everybody. We win the duel. So, three wins, two losses. That's a little rough, but it's still fun. Yeah, you gotta keep making more dino stuff. And the final pack I'll get today is a red eyes pack. Skeletal's not too bad. Dragon Treasure could be useful. Alright, that's something. Alright, guys, that's gonna be it. I wanna thank you all for watching. Get ready, because I will be dueling one of my rivals, and maybe there'll be another rival next episode, and the next, and the next. Who knows? But get ready for the rival battle. See you all then.